Well, welcome back to Midday Moment. Our guest today is Dennis Johnson, Worth County Extension Education Spe uh, Specialist with ISU. And today we are talking all about a crop pest that tends to make its way out this time of year. That is the black cutworm. Now, Dennis, I had never heard of the black cutworm <laughs> before today, but tell us, tell us what that is. Well, it's an insect that really doesn't affect us every year because okay. it doesn't overwinter in Iowa. You know, like most insects, long over overwinter in corn stalks or in the soil someplace. But, but in this case, they just fly south every winter and all of a sudden they come back in the spring. So we have to kind of monitor them and, and sometimes we have them, sometimes we don't. So. All right, yeah, and there's a picture of them so you, so you know what they, they yeah. look like if you didn't yeah. know before. That's, now, I understand kind of the, the recent cool wet weather um, is sort of delaying these guys though? Yeah, growing degree days that uh, Kay just talked about in their weather forecast there, uh, you know, does refer to how fast they move along okay. as far as what, where they even come, first of all. So in other words, we would have some warm, suddenly breezes and we have little traps we set up. Matter of fact, I got one this morning I checked and uh, okay. haven't caught any moths in that. We have a pheromone that the male cutworm moth flies into that and uh, we've really seen that be delayed this year quite a bit and the reason we think is because of the cool temperatures. It just hasn't amounted to much as far as uh, that suddenly breeze we're looking for to bring those moths in just hasn't happened. So, I mean, that, that's good news, though, right? Oh, it is, for right now. All right. <laughs> uh, we, we know those days will come pretty soon, though. Okay. And then, like Kay might, talked about, three degree, blowing degree days today, that's not very many. Mm -hmm. And we need those to kind of move that, what the, once a cut room would come along, that where they, uh, that female lays her eggs. Okay. And then those larvae hatch out. But they don't happen very fast unless we have warm temperatures. Oh, gotcha. And so right now, if we had some uh, female uh, legs get laid, I think it would probably take about three, four weeks before that would happen. So farmers really wouldn't need to start looking until about late May. And about when corn's going to be just coming up, it looks mm -hmm. like this year, because of the late planting. But uh, that's about when we want to really go out there and get scouting. Now I know, okay, so we talked about scouting them. So how are they monitored? How are yeah. you determined uh, Well, here? you saw on the one graphic earlier there about the picture of the, the uh, cutworm moth just chewing out the plant. Okay. So I'll just go to those plants that look like they've been tipped over for whatever reason. And then hopefully you'll find, if you dig a little along the soil there along the plant, you should be able to find that cutworm uh, right in that location. I mean, how do you how do you protect your, your plants then? From, well, from then if you do find them, I mean, after you do the scouting and you do find that you've got cutworm them out there then you can come back with some what we call rescue insecticides okay. and those work pretty well they aren't very expensive and farmers can go in and just use that insecticide and it takes that insect out of the picture pretty fast so that's our best rescue treatment okay yeah I mean you forget <laughs> how, how small <laughs> little bugs can really do yeah, a lot of damage they aren't very big but you yeah. want the corn small and they cut off that uh, growing point uh, the, the plants gonna die so it's yeah. really something you want to keep on top of and the good news is it doesn't happen every year and the other good news is we just haven't seen much flight happen this spring okay like I said check my trap this morning found no cutworm male moths there so hopefully right. so far so good yeah fingers crossed <laughs> yeah. all right well thanks yeah. so much for coming on yeah. midday moment we, uh, we yeah. really appreciate it yeah, Dennis Johnson. thank you sarah all right stick around kids one last check of the weather <laughs> forecast right after the break well it's not too late to get that summer job you've been